my name's Alan Seeley. Uh, I work at Catrike for Transmissions in Halewood, and I'm the HR manager. And I was an apprentice myself a long time ago. Here at GFT, we invest in apprenticeships because we we have to replenish people that are leaving, people that have been with us for a long time as craftsmen. Uh, and we need to make sure that we replace the skills but in a controlled way. So some of the stuff that we're doing presently is looking at our attrition uh, leavers graphs and replacing with apprentices that are coming in that we know where they're going to go to in the business. And that could be into machine shop or on assembly line work. So it's very important that we replace the skills that uh, will be leaving the business in the next five to ten years. So the benefits of apprentices into the business is that they get to spend four years with us. So it's, it's a year at college and then three years on the shop floor. And we believe that that's the right amount of time for an apprentice to be able to gain the knowledge, particularly in gear technology in an automotive environment, to understand what they need to do to help the business in future. Uh, and then we also think that that goes on to give them the confidence when they finish their apprenticeship to become a skilled craftsman with the confidence to do lots of other things in the, in the years after ending their apprenticeship. Gives us a chance also to invest in people knowing full well that if we get future new technology they'll be able to cope with that too. I'm Bradley Stead and I'm a second year apprentice in Gatrag Ford Transmissions in Halewood. I chose my apprenticeship with Gatrag because I wanted to work for a multinational company um, and I believe that Working for a company such as Gatrag would increase my chances of being taken on and having a successful future as a maintenance fitter. I've learned so many things through the programme. Of, of you, can, you really feel your confidence increase both in work and at home. You, you feel that you can, you can take jobs on that you never thought that you could take on before. There are numerous examples on how apprentices have made savings to the plant. So they've been involved in, in, in various Kaizen activity, in lean technology workshops as well. And, and their contribution is fresh, it's new. Um, it, it's, it's not clouded by any amount of time that has been with the business. They can come in and, and very often point out things to us that uh, are real right in front of their face. So we've made some major improvements in and around machine shop to, to different layouts, to different machines, uh, and also on assembly line when uh, apprentices have given us ideas to make improvements in order to make transmissions quicker. I'm supported very well in my apprenticeship. I have regular meetings with the maintenance manager inside the plant and I've half term reviews with the college and the, the work to see my progress both in college and in work. At the moment I've finished me level two MBQ in performing engineering operations and I'm about three quarters of the way through my BTEC level three diploma in engineering. Um, and I'm about to start my MBQ level three and my HNC in the, in the coming years. So in relation to Riverside College, we've been with them now for, for nearly two years and, and our experience has been a, a really good partnership, a partnership that's given us lots of confidence in apprentices that they train on our behalf and come towards us. The upkeep and, and looking after the apprentices has been quite fantastic. So if you look at some of the opportunities outside of Gitrag through Riverside that some of our apprentices have had, um, for me that's the, the full piece and gives us lots of confidence in, in what we do at the college. As an apprentice, my apprenticeship is in maintenance, particularly maintenance fitting, so it'll be things such as diagnosing problems to do with the machines, such as run out, um, looking for wear or damage, looking for signs of heat damage or things such as loud noises or things that don't really sound normal in the normal machine and environment. In 2015, Katraga Halewood are looking for four mechanical apprentices and that's because we can see in the next five to seven years that we need to replace uh, more mechanical people than electrical people at the moment. Our plan over the next three or four years is, is looking to maybe take on four apprentices a year after that. So this year it's really important that we find mechanical bias people with an interest in mechanical engineering to fill our need for, for 2015. My future goals is, uh, is to qualify from the apprenticeship with as best grades as I can and hopefully be going on, to, go on to become a successful maintenance fitter. Anyone who's thinking of starting an apprenticeship today I'd say go for it, particularly in engineering because it's such 
it's such an expansive industry and it's only going to get bigger. Um, there's always a need for apprentices and there always will be a need for apprentices in my opinion.